So this is a video that I have been, you know, debating on whether or not I should make. The reason for that is because there's definitely something in my life that triggered this video and I don't want to be disrespectful in the way that I go about this because I genuinely just use my channel to share my own experiences in hopes that it will help other people. However, there is a possibility that I might be hurting, offending, or triggering someone in real life. However, the whole point of this video is projections and a lot of times projections which we'll get into what that is has to do with taking things personally and things like that to me if whoever is watching this video that might be triggered by it gets triggered by it it's likely that they are just projecting their own insecurities onto me if they choose to address it or confront me about it do you know what i mean because i can't control how people feel you can only control how you decide to perceive what I say or how you decide to you know take in what I say but I can't I can't change the narrative or the truth behind it it's just like if you want to take it personally you can that's just the way I look at it so I finally decided that it was right and it did feel right for me to make this video but in order to really talk about how it you know came to be I have to discuss the situation at hand you know what I mean so I had a friend reach out to me she reached out to me with a pretty disrespectful paragraph in regards to our friendship and like what happened or whatever. Long story short, I made a video, it triggered her and she felt the need to message me about the video. And I can tell that the message, like I could tell that she didn't mean to be aggressive in it. I could tell that she didn't mean to be accusatory in it. I could tell that she really thought she did something when she wrote it, however, I feel like I am self-aware enough to read that message and see right through it. Like whether she knows it or not, it was kind of bullshit. Long story short, the message um, was a response to a video in which I pretty much said that our friendship ended because of a guy. And in that message there were a lot of moments where she was saying that she didn't feel safe with me and that I was a bad friend. She pretty much implied that without saying it and that I forced her to do certain things. And it was just like a lot of really strong statements that weren't true. And I am self-aware, okay? I can read a message like that and be like, oh my God, like I hurt this person. Like I feel really bad if that's truly the case. But I read this message and all I could see was projections. Like it was it was just straight projections. And that's why I was just, I was really bothered by it. I didn't respond because I didn't feel the need to. I don't need to clear my name and, and prove to her that I am this person that she doesn't think. I, I don't, I don't care. Um, to me, it was more just like, damn, like you really believe on these things because of your own reality. This was a friendship that I didn't get any communication out of. The only time I did it was when it was coming up from my end. When I was bothering her, I didn't know this because she didn't communicate it. When she was upset with me, I didn't know this because she didn't communicate it. She never told me how she felt until we had a blow up argument and then I would drag answers out of her and she it would all come out at once. And I would say, hey, like, did you not care about the friendship? Because if you did, you would have told me this, you know? There were all these accusatory statements in this message that like, it's news to me. Like I'm reading this and I'm like, this is how you felt? Why didn't you tell me this when we were friends? Why are you telling me this now? She would say little things about my character where I was like, how is that possible when we never even talked about this? Or how is that possible when the situation is just so different from how you perceived it? Like the message didn't make sense. It, it didn't make sense. And that's why I couldn't respond. The message was stating that she was trying to clear the air, but it wasn't that. It wasn't that she was trying to clear the air because if she was trying to clear the air, she wouldn't have said all the things she said. She's hurt. She was triggered by my video and by what I said. And for that, I'm sorry. However, do not project your own triggers onto me. To me, when somebody is projecting like this, it is just, <laughs> It's just their own insecurities being reflected back to them. Like if, if I say something about you and you're bothered, but it's not true and you know it's not true, you're not gonna be bothered. If you come up to me and say, hey, you're an ugly ass bitch, you're this, you're that, I think you're rude, I think you're mean and you're nasty, I'm not gonna 
like send you a paragraph telling you like I'm not an ugly ass bitch, I'm not rude, I'm not nasty, I'm not this, I'm gonna say okay, cool, like I know I'm not. So why do I need to clear my name? My ego doesn't need that. My ego doesn't need validation from you. My ego doesn't need the satisfaction of telling you who I think I am versus who you think I am because I don't care because I know myself. And this message to me was a very clear indication of this former friend of mine not knowing themselves enough. And like, who am I to say that? Maybe I could be wrong. I'm not a fucking therapist, you know what I mean? Um, but to me, I read it and it, it was just a whole lot of like fluff. It was just her trying to prove something to me, trying to tell me who she really is. Why does it matter who I think you are? Why does it matter if our friendship ended because of this reason or that reason or I thought you were this person or that person like if you know that's not true why does it matter why do you need to come to me and send me a message and like put down my character what to make yourself feel better for your ego i'm not entertaining that like i'm not i'm not entertaining that and that's what triggered this video and Honestly, I didn't expect to say so much about that situation in this video. Maybe it's meant for me to put it out there. I don't know. Maybe somebody's listening to this and it's like, damn, like I'm going through that too. Like this really isn't my problem. This is their problem. And that's what I think we need to realize about projections, which let's get into it. Okay. As we know, I love me a good dictionary definition. What is a projection? Whenever I hear that word, I think about that song by Adele where she's like, um, that's your projection. What, what did she say? Woman like me, listen to the song Woman Like Me, okay? So this is the Google definition. Psychological projection is a process of misinterpreting what is inside as coming from outside. It forms the basis of empathy by the projection of personal experiences to understand someone else's subjective world. Ooh, I really like that definition. I hope I can like rephrase this. Okay, so with this, like, I want you guys to all remember that we are the center of our own universe, okay? I'm the center of my own world, therefore, all of the experience that I have lived through, all the people I've come across, the way that I was raised, they create the character that I am today. And that character has its own perception of reality based off of my own upbringing and personal experiences with myself, with others, with the world around me. Everything that I see in life, everything that I perceive, everything, like everything, everything in life, I am looking at it through the lens of my own experiences. With that, when I take things personally, or when I make assumptions, or when I start projecting onto other people, these are all filtered through my own psyche and how I have like lived my life and what I've gone through. So let me give you an example. Let's say I've really, really, really struggled with my body image my whole entire life. Like it's been something that's really bugged me. My parents have always told me like, hey, like you're overweight. This is a really terrible example because I'm very underweight. <laughs> I'm very slim. But let's say, like I'm just using this as an example. Like I got bullied for being big, a big girl or my parents bullied me for being a big girl. Like it's just been affecting me my whole life. Let's say I go to the store and I'm trying on a dress, right? And someone says, hey, like, did you get the right size dress? And instantly I'm insecure and I feel triggered because everything I've gone through in life, all of the bullying and everything that about my body image, like I instantly think the worst of that statement. When they're saying, hey, did you get the right, the right size? I'm thinking, what, does this dress make me look fat? Do you think it's way too small on me? Do I need a bigger size? Is that what you're trying to say? And like, I say that, like, what the fuck? Like you think that I look big or, you know, that's me projecting. Cause what they really meant could be like, hey, did you get the right size? Cause I found one that looks like it would fit you. It could be as simple as that. Like, hey, did you already get your size? Like hey, do you want um, this one here? Like, it's the last of the size. Want to make sure you get it before it's off the shelves. Like, it could be as innocent as that, but because I'm insecure and I've been struggling with this and my whole life has revolved around my body image, my instant interpretation of that statement is filtered through my mind and my upbringing. So suddenly I am now offended, angry, and triggered by what you said. And I'm projecting that onto you by stating that, oh, you know what? You think I look fat. When in reality, she just wants to know if I have the right size for my own benefit. That is an example of a projection. We are the center of our own universe. Everything is filtered through what we've gone through. So that is why I'm saying like, a lot of times when people are triggered or when people are projecting or when people 
feel bothered by something that you do a lot of times it literally has nothing to do with you like at all when i was in my relationship with my ex there were so many things that i didn't realize were projections and to this day it still kind of scares me that i really like went through all of that and accepted so much of someone else's baggage that had nothing to do with me at all like it was literally to the point that i was constantly apologizing for who i was just because i had a different upbringing than my ex for example like i felt bad that i had privilege i felt bad that i went through certain things in life and that i i you know, I, like i was constantly apologizing like all the time apologizing for things that i that i really had nothing to do with and when someone's projecting onto you it can get very dangerous because you like if you love someone whether it's a friend or a boyfriend or a girlfriend whatever if you really love them you're gonna trust that if they're hurt by you it's because you did something but sometimes it's really not that sometimes they hurt, they're hurt by you because they're hurting inside it's like what people say hurt people hurt people they're hurting inside because of external factors that you have nothing to do with and they put that shit on you which is not fair so back to the original message i received from this like old friend of mine it was a very ego driven message and it was very clear like i said she was triggered she was triggered and she decided to just send me a whole lot of nothing to defend herself because she felt the need to defend herself because you know it's something i guess that she's not like at peace with but that had nothing to do with me what i said if it's not true then why does it matter why does it matter and if it is true then like, hey, like maybe you should look inwards and like, I don't know, heal that or something. I just feel like it's not my job to cater to other people's emotions. And this is not directed towards her at all. Um, I may seem pissed off by that message. And like, yes, I was the day of. I was very like, I was very offended because I was like, do you really think I care enough about your ego to like have this conversation? Like to me, this friendship was so meaningful for so long. If we're going to have a conversation about it, like let's, like be nice you know like i would have been open to that but yeah the day of i was offended um today i'm more just like why do you do all that <laughs> like why'd you do all that but i just feel as though i've gone through so many instances in which people are just like putting their shit on me and i just have to like take it just take it <laughs> okay okay cool i guess i'm taking the baggage now but um i've learned to set boundaries thankfully which is very important. I've learned to set boundaries and I'm finally at a place in which I can spot someone's projections and I like to call people out on it. Like, hey, you're projecting. Hey, are you sure this has to do with me or is this because blah, 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 blah. You know, like that. I truly say that to people now. Like, I'll say it nicely. Like, hey, like, I just want to let you know, like, does this really have to do with me or do you think that maybe you're just projecting your upbringing and blah, 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 blah. I'll give an example onto the situation because if that's the case that's okay but like let's become aware of that you know what i mean like let's think about that let's process that before we get emotional and reactive on the wrong person so yeah i've learned to set boundaries and tell people hey this has nothing to do with me um and i've learned to just accept that people are constantly going to feel triggered and it's not my job to tiptoe around people's emotions to make sure that I'm not hurting or offending anybody. It's their job to do the inner work to accept themselves so that when people have something to say, they're not so bothered by it. Or at least if they're bothered, they can filter and tell the difference between, hey, I'm bothered because this is my own personal trauma I have to heal and I'm projecting, or I'm bothered because what this person said was actually hurtful. Don't get me wrong, if somebody calls me out and saying some fucked up shit or being rude or being disrespectful or saying something triggering that I, I know better, I'll be the first one to say, hey, I'm sorry. Like that was a touchy subject and like that wasn't cool of me. Like I will, but if you're making me feel bad for something that literally has nothing to do with me, like I, I can't sit there and empathize with you because it's not my job. It's not my job. It's really not. And I think that a lot of times we act as if it is our job to protect other people's emotions but like how about we all just work on healing ourselves instead so that we don't have to constantly walk on eggshells around other people or apologize for things that we don't need to apologize for i remember i said sorry one time for having certain standards of living because i grew up pretty well like 
I had a great upbringing, you know, like a big ass house in the suburbs with my family, went to Catholic school, like two parent home, parents happily married, parents have pretty good money. Like I had a great upbringing and I'm very grateful for that. Don't get me wrong. We weren't like filthy rich or anything, but we had a nice life. We have a nice life, you know? And um, I used to constantly apologize for that and feel guilty about that because the person that I was around had the complete opposite and they would make me feel like shit all the time about having good things and having a nice life and having my education paid for and all of these things, they'd make me feel like shit. I would be apologizing about like little things and it wasn't until later when we stopped talking that I was able to reflect and be like, wait a minute, that had nothing to do with me. Why was I apologizing? I, I cannot, I cannot help that I was very fortunate. I can't help that. Like I understand other people have different situations and it's not like I was an insensitive asshole about their upbringing. I just, I can't change who I am. And I constantly felt like I, I had to, and I had to like bring myself down to make the other person feel comfortable. And if I couldn't, I would be apologizing for that. And that wasn't fair to me, but I wasn't able to see that that person was projecting until now. And once I became aware of that, oh my God, my tea, I forgot about my tea. <laughs> once I became aware of that, it's like my whole mind opened up and I was able to just see, okay, projection, 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 projection. And it comes down to the four agreements. You know how the four agreements are, um, always do your best um never take anything personally don't make assumptions and damn i always forget that fourth one whatever i'm talking about two mostly never take anything personally and never make assumptions these two things will guarantee that you feel like shit and it's self-inflicted because when you take something personally that is a projection for example this is something so small I used to be so insecure about my forehead, like so incredibly insecure about my forehead. And I don't know why. I mean like, yeah, I got a big ass head, but it's fine, <laughs> you know? So one time someone commented like, oh my God, like you have a big forehead. And I was like, so mad and offended. I took it so personally. And I was like, okay, like I don't understand. Blah, blah, blah. And then they were like, no, 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 like I like big foreheads. Like I think that's like beautiful. And I was like, Oops, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my bad. I didn't mean to like blow up at you or anything. I was projecting. I was projecting my own insecurity onto that person. They were literally trying to compliment me. Like they were trying to compliment me. They were just pointing out the big forehead and before they even got a chance to like let the compliment out, I jumped at their neck because I was offended. I was triggered. Why was I triggered and offended? Because I'm insecure or I was insecure about that. Therefore, I'm projecting my insecurities onto someone who doesn't deserve it. There's so many little things that we do that are projections that we don't even realize. And then it makes you think, what are the big things? Like, what are the big things? It's kind of scary when you think about making assumptions. What are those projections? I was assuming that that person was insulting me when they weren't. That was a projection. And I just feel like we need to become aware of when we are projecting because there are times, don't get me wrong, I'm talking about this like I'm some like fucking queen of not projecting. I literally projected the other day onto my friend. Take a shot every time I say that word, by the way. My friend, I was helping her move and she said something to me. Like she was like constantly like changing her mind. Okay, it's her move, right? She's changing her mind and I was just so annoyed at something and she changed her mind again and i was just like okay well the next time you're gonna change your mind like how about you like figure it out before i put everything in the cupboard so that i don't have to keep doing it over and over again and then i took a step back and i literally like after two seconds i was like hold on i'm sorry don't listen to me i'm projecting and i call myself out i don't just call other people out. i call myself out and i told her like i'm really sorry i was projecting this is your move i'm here to help you if you need to change your mind change your mind as many times as you want because this is your move. Maybe I would do things differently if I was moving. I'd figure it all out mentally before I put things away physically. That's great, that's my move. This was her day, I was literally there to help her. So if she wants to tell me to put this in the top shelf, then put it in the bottom shelf, then put it back in the top shelf, then put it back in the bottom shelf 17 times, 
I'm gonna fucking do it. Why? Because I'm there for her. I'm there for her. So I was projecting because I was in a bad mood. <laughs> also, I had just received that message from that friend and I was irritated at that message. And on top of that, I was just like tired and you know, I just, I was tired, I, I was projecting, I was projecting. Maybe I wasn't projecting my insecurities onto her, but I was projecting my own frustrations and my own anger and my own like impatience onto her and that wasn't fair. So I had to sit down for a second and be like, I'm sorry, like, that, like change your mind as much as you want. You don't need to be sorry for changing your mind because I'm here for you and I'm gonna do what you're gonna tell me to do. But yeah, like I'm not just making this video so that you guys can like be like oh you're projecting this man that i'm talking to he's projecting he's not worth my time like sometimes it's us sometimes it's us and you need to be aware of that that's why just understanding the whole phrase and the whole idea of it is so important because we need to be able to call other people out but we also need to be able to call ourselves out and we also need to be able to be understanding and open when somebody calls us out because we might not catch ourselves but somebody might say like hey pretty sure this has nothing to do with me and we need to be able to take a step back acknowledge that and be like you know what yeah you're right sorry so just to end off the video i want to read off an example i just saw because i feel like it's relevant so if you don't get projections and i think this will really sum it up for you and here's an example as stated by google a wife is attracted to a male co-worker but can't admit her feelings so when her husband talks about a female co-worker she becomes jealous and accuses him of being attracted to the other woman so this is when they say like it's the people who cheat who are always like super insecure for example if a man's cheating and his girl goes to the club and suddenly he's pressed because she's at the club to me it just says you know what you do at the club and that's why you're so 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 worried about your woman right now you're projecting your own lifestyle onto her she's loyal as fuck but because you're not you're worried projection that's why this wife that they're talking about is triggered when he talks about a female co-worker because she's attracted to her to hers so she instantly thinks he's attracted to his coworker. It's a projection. Stop being so self-centered. Not everything is about you. Not everything has to do with your own reality. Everybody's realities are different, okay? I think that is the perfect, perfect example. It's like I used to have a friend who, she told me she was a boyfriend stealer and that was her past or whatever, right? I don't think she was like that as we were friends. But anyway, she told me how she hates when any of her friends become friends with her man. And I found that so interesting because I was like, don't you want your friend and your man to have like a good relationship? And she said, no, I don't want them being friends at all. I don't want them on Instagram. I don't want them talking. I don't want them just like, they can be polite when we're all together, but I'm not gonna do like a vacation with my friends or dinner, double dates. Like she wasn't interested in that, I guess because her past and how she was in high school and stuff. And I guess that was just her own projection onto her current relationships. Not to say she was that person anymore. From what I could tell, she'd grown up from that. She was, a, she was different, you know? But like, of course, it still sticks with you. You know that side of, the, of things. So of course you're gonna project that. You don't want your homies being friends with your man. And like, I get, I get why. I don't know if she fully got that. I don't know, I wonder, I never really asked her about it. But internally I was like, hmm, I think that's a projection. I just didn't know the word for it at the time. All right guys, well, I hope this really simplified the whole idea of projection to you. Um, if you do it, that's okay. Now you're aware and you can correct yourself. I have faith that you can do that. So let me know how you felt about this video, if, if it resonates or anything in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. One thing I wanna leave you with, let's all be aware of our own projections and others, okay? Let's call other people out and let's call ourselves out to make healthier and more fulfilling relationships around us, okay? So that is your homework. That is your homework. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.